I've got a 5.9 in Nicaragua. Five point nine earthquake. This is Vino Black, folks. A little bit of a cold. You can start hearing it last night or yesterday on the video of me sniffling. So five point nine down in Nicaragua. This is the latest at five forty seven, eleven seven point two thousand eleven. So also I probably go to the graphs here, hang on. There's graphs. We'll see what we see new, but basically uh, we're going to go down and we're going to end up seeing a pretty good spike down at the uh, South Pole. And as you can see, one of the uh, Casey Antarctic is not showing. Even Norway is showing some action, and Nor Norway is pretty solid usually. More there in Norway. All right, then we the Chile. You know they had, I think something too. I gotta go to R S O E because I think I've seen it. And there's Papua New Guinea getting the action, and New Zealand's gonna have it. South Pole, Antarctica. That's a new part of the graph that I didn't see because earlier I had a spike here. And there you go, there's a big spike there too. So also we're gonna go down here in New Zealand, there you go. New Zealand's got a bunch of action. Alright, so that's quake activity. We'll go to Fireball and show you what I didn't show you in the first video today. It's just gonna only jam so much into 15 minutes. Okay, we're just kinda flow with the recorder here. It's saying it wants to record this, so I saw this earlier. This is a fresh shot today. This would be your last go three. Check the big circular we got out here. You might be somebody might be able to figure out what the constellations that are meeting up or whatever are close by each other right here. Or which asteroid belt that we got here. This is the sun. And yes, check this action out on the sun. We're at four hundred. I'll even zoom in real fast with thousand. But check this big old circle we got right here, folks. To the right of the sun behind so the idea that would be to your left in view also we got this action and also up here that action there we're at 400 percent here and i.e. there's some more there and i'll go to the left here and everybody can kind of look at it maybe find something i don't see Yes, we got this action down here. Here, another circular. So the idea that you, and then we got another big circular here, if you're looking at it, that's like pancaked or the, to the degree there. I got a cold, I'm not going to go into that. But here, and there we go. There we go. Basically, those should be comments. Now, when we're looking at, I'm going to go up this side here so you see what's there, and you can find there's more up over here. Got a big circle there, too circular pattern kind of broken up but it's there that's the one I showed you a little bit earlier there and then I guess there's one right above it too that's last go through today so I'll blow this up to a thousand and as we're blowing this up to a thousand you're gonna end up seeing on the other shot the Blasco I think it is two here in a minute you'll see but I, just want to, I noticed here I'm getting zooming in check this out right here above what I was showing you there Zoom it up. You guys go, hey, he's lame, but I'm not a super duper. I'm blowing up. It takes me a while. I think I'd be better off if I just used the button. And then I get stuck with this. there on the sun on the back side on this is three I believe like I was saying and then yep red C3 so there's a back end zoom of what's going on up there 
there's that almost seems to be like the eight that figure eight that we see on the front side that we got on the if you go to uh, my video on uh, Amazing Grace Allen in USA there pretty like a Ch Chinese Tai Chi symbol or something like that I think or something Chinese or Asian some kind of a uh, sign up there on the sun so anyway uh, let's go over to uh, two we'll go to Lasco two so this is at a thousand stripping back through the sun there so and the IE there's another circular there so so either uh, Kara soft or the monkey butt monkeys government this that override or something they know we're getting close to the eighth so the idea that uh, you can go to Stonely's here and chat it up with most everybody from Dutch Sense right here at Stonely's. Having beer, Stonely, you're famous now. All right, let's go down here and look at the sun on Alaska 2. And what I've seen is, is this is a close comet grazing the backside of the sun. So we're going to zoom in on that right there. But let me just go give you the 475% around the comet below the sun. I'm also starting to wonder of the idea of the flopper that we've seen uh, yesterday, or t yeah, yesterday or today's video of uh, the Chinese footage where I show the flopper. And I'll, let me go to an example real fast. Okay, we're going to be going in and zooming in on this on the last go two of today. Okay, black and white where nobody gets to play with the color. So there's also some objects in here you need to go to uh, beforeitsnews.com and they've got a list that's got even more than what you got on R-O-S-O-E-D-S. I know it's a little faded out here because the idea I've been dealing with Kerasoft fibers bullshit, so the idea of boom or whatever the hell it was. So taking care of that. So anyway, these two close objects we know we got YU-55, we should get some static action from that between here and the moon. It's going to do something because it's probably 4,000 meters is what we figure that it's not the 400 meters and it's not the original 200 meters. If you see here, they say 240 meters to begin with on YU-55 and then they've pumped it up to 400 meters. The bugger's probably like 4,000 meters. Okay. So anyway, NASA thinks we can forget about it within a year. But June 24th, 2010, they started telling us about Nemesis. And naming it and so forth. Plop through these pictures real fast. Coolest stars come out of the dark. Spitzer found it on that. And then uh, they got the temperatures. Brown dwarfs are talking about it. They even IE point to it. So the idea that, and you'll see what matches up with, there is Nibiru. So they've known about it. Just covering it up. So we're going to get some close passes. There's Nibiru. You can go to my site and the film that's always there. And you'll see Nibiru. And the questions that people ask me, is it blue? No, it's not blue. So there's what we got. There's the fuzzies on the bottom. You'll see this. Nemesis is behind the sun. This is Nemesis here. This is the star that you've seen on the Chinese footage, and I'm also going to try to go to another video tonight and showing you that Chinese footage starting out with that, which I barely seen at the very end. Oh, and, and uh, one, my, one, one of my friends call it, I haven't had time to email you, bud, but Oricus is Oricus. Oricus will be here in 2019. It's about like three times bigger than, I believe, the moon or something like that. So it's our bigger moon. It'll be around 2019, so... And once again, folks, I mean, they were talking about it back in 2010, so then all of a sudden it's like disappear action, so blow them, or actually blow me. And here, uh, basically this is the, what I was talking about, the flopper, and you need to go watch the video because basically it'll show this flopper going around. And so let me minimize this real fast. This is my pictures. I just got lucky. I was snapping through them real fast. An example there, I was showing you this and this, and now we're back to this. I just popped in. I took a couple of shots last night. There's that flopper. And there is, that's not the sun, folks.
Okay. Okay, and I'll go back in a second, but you, you can you can see this flopper going across. Okay, there's that flopper. That's what I'm just calling it because it flops. Watch the video and you'll see it flop. So go watch my last video, uh, second to last, I guess, because basically I showed you the footage uh, that uh, Street Cap wanted put, and there it is. It's starting flopping there. So as I have this fresh in your mind, let's go back and look at the sun right now and see what, how many of them are actually out there because check that out. It's just in an up and down. But who knows if it's a flopper that's behind. And we know that the sun is in the supergiants, folks. I can prove that the sun's in the supergiants. Have it in the past. You've seen it on my data that I show, and I can show it in the future. And before we zoom in here, on the left-hand side, if you're looking from Earth, but this is behind the sun, and you can see this on the right-hand side, too. So when we zoom in here, I'll zoom in on that also. Okay, and remember this flopper. This is what we're going to look at up here. Or is it some sort of something of a V, too, because it's part of it. So the idea that maybe we have figured out part of the V action on these floppers. Okay, just before I got into a 1,000%, so you can see this here. we got bam, bam, bam. So we've got a five-pointer there. And I'll zoom out, and we got this here, which l sure looks like Nibiru hanging out behind the sun. Okay, that should be Nibiru right there. No doubts about that. So the idea, then we have this flopper here. So Nibiru has a friend or a sister, cousin, or whatever we want, a relative we want to call it, is the idea of the blue star planet, basic, which is cooling. Who knows, it could be somewhere to 2,500 degrees and down. And this is at 1,000%, folks, so the idea that you're getting to see this, but it sure looks like the same thing that we see in right there. And as you can see, there was another shot here of that there. And hang on a minute, I'll go back to another thing that I seen it on way earlier this year when we were seeing the object up by the sun to the right. So there you go, folks. And we've known about this for a long time. This is when I first started, and even Dutch made a video of it. And went, what the hell are you trying to tell us it's a smudge for in the camera? But see, we have a flopper. Tetrahydrin. So this very much could have been on the 14th, 614 Nibiru, but not up behind the sun yet so it also could be we don't know for exact fact yet that this could be the sister that we see that's blue that's in the Chinese picture basically hang on but remember this flopper I'm gonna keep this fresh in your mind and it appears up in here in this footage on I think 614 to 616 or something like that yep 614 and 616 or 610, the date there. Okay, now keep that flopper in your mind. Now, here we go. And yes, folks, the sun is humongous. Okay? So the idea that Nemesis Nibiru is behind. Okay? And yes, don't confuse it with Oricus. Oricus is our big third size of the moon, moon that'll be around in 2019. Yes, we should get on it. Now, there is our flopper because that's not a comet. Okay, and it is in a V. Okay, and there's that tetrahydrin, i.e., let's go back to the picture real fast. And people are going to go, well, you know, there's way more than one. Well, quite possibly, okay. But there's that tetrahydrin, and there's that. Okay, and we know that is Nibiru, is Nemesis. So, I, folks, the last video before this one, you'll see the circular right here of three and possibly four that are going around. So, the idea that th there's way more than what we th thought we have found, of like Nibiru and the star, because the idea this should be the star here. And then the idea that you're going to end up having, if you watch the video, you'll see the little demon that's in front of the sun. This is our mini sun. And uh, there's great possibility of getting confused, but it stuff's out there.